I, I think we've been working on this aspiration to have uh, an eleventh dancer in the studio. Um, which has agency and autonomy and intelligence and kind of choreographic thinking at its base, but that it generates different types of behaviours or expressions that we can work with for a long time. And it's come in kind of lots of very different iterations. The starting point for our research with Wayne McGregor was to look at the way that he describes the things that he's doing. All of his dances in the, at that time were using notebooks to make notes about the things that they were creating. I spent a lot of time looking at those notebooks. They contain sketches and little diagrams. So we felt when dancers and choreographers are talking to a choreographic language agent, they should use the kind of language that they're familiar with. So the CLA was uh, an attempt to get Wayne halfway towards uh, the cold, concrete, formal language of computer programming. So it was really uh, constructed as a, as a tool, as a computer for strange geometric operations that may or may not be of interest. Um, so the, the heart of it, there's a, there's a programming language. So that was the sort of the, the first encounter, the first attempt I had to really find something, an intermediate point between my work and, and his. What came out of that was you know, really, a, I guess, a series of experiments where dancers and, and Wayne you know, encountered this. Uh, but it, it was sort of emphatically a tool. It was something that they had to uh, uh, use and figure out and deploy and, 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 uh, and maintain I mean, something they had to use and, and use again. So we had in our minds this idea of a two-screen system where one screen would be based on text and one screen would be based on some kind of visual three-dimensional manifestation of movement. And we also decided that we wanted to use the text to actually generate what came out in the movement but without representing a body, so there's no way it would look like a figure in space. It wouldn't have arms and legs and a head and so on. When dancers are creating a new piece of work, they're not just all doing the same thing at the same time. Uh, in Wayne McGregor's practice, they're actually firing ideas off each other. One of them does something, the other responds to it with something completely different. We wanted the choreographic language agent to be a part of that process, like one of the dancers, the others would be responding to it and then they would be giving it new instructions as a jumping off point for further improvisation. I think the first version, um, it, it did have something very clear, it had these action verbs that we tried to actually create and the act of having to put them into the computer and create them before then working with them physically, I think taught us something about the inherent nature of what that verb meant. So by the time we come, came to work on to hang, what does that feel like? Um, you had a really good understanding of it because we'd worked on building these images. We tried it in kind of draft form in the studio where the dancers had to kind of work with it um, more programmatically and had more intervention on it. Um, and that in some way slowed down the choreographic process. And we wondered whether or not actually having a kind of a, a tool like that in the studio actually was a bit too uh, difficult to work with in terms of the, the energy that I like to create in the studio room. It'd be a fine system to work with in kind of like a music studio or you know, a more standard space for working digitally, but taking that into a dance studio where dancers are kind of moving around and they warm up their muscles and they want to then do something and then have to sit down at a desk, you know, like an office worker and kind of type on a keyboard. That was clearly breaking that kind of physical thinking and physical making uh, in a way that was kind of losing many of the benefits we wanted to kind of achieve. Our early experiments with the choreographic language agent created a kind of super notebook, uh, a notebook that assists the dancers with their work and even feeds back ideas as an agent contributing to the creative process. All of that was a fascinating experiment taking place in the rehearsal studio. Ultimately, in this project, we've also wanted to create some kind of an agent that is like a dancer in itself. Combining that with the ideas of the conversation between the dancers uh, in a new kind of programming language, that's a really tricky thing to achieve.